Hi Scorpio, welcome to your April 2022 monthly messages from Spirit Reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Scorpio. This will not resonate with every Scorpio that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Scorpio, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Scorpio. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Scorpio and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. So my intentions for this reading, Scorpio, is to channel and provide messages from Spirit for you for the month of April to ask what is happening in April, what is unfolding, and if something has happened, why has it happened? Basically, I just want to get you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to this timeline of what's going down in April. And this can impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution, whatever spirit would like to bring forth shall be said. And if you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even pass down loved ones, you are welcome to ask them now to join us in this space. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. I will be using my sound bold and clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume's kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. Let's do this, Scorpio. All right, so let's see what's happening in the month of April for my Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, anyone dealing with a Scorpio? You know, Scorpio, what I saw as I was, you know, chiming into the vibes of the energy, um, you know, I saw like an angel. It almost looked like Archangel Michael. And then I saw a lion behind Archangel Michael or whatever, whoever that angel was. Um, and it, from the energy I got from that Scorpio, it's almost as if they're, the lion and the angel are trying to tell you not to react. I almost wonder if you feel Scorpio, that someone in your life or the universe even in itself is putting you through a test or putting you through a trial. And I almost feel some of you are getting really annoyed or feel like someone's or a situation is bringing you out of character, trying to bring you down. And that energy coming through Scorpio is trying to say, do not buy into it. Do not give into it. This is a test. This is, you know, nothing to like judge you for per se, but trying to see Scorpio, how much you have evolved out of this situation. It could be a family member, um, but something that is trying to pull you back don't get pulled back, Scorpio. You have evolved. You have grown. You are a symbol of fortitude and strength. And I think if you are finding yourself kind of waning in that strength to reconnect with that, um, you know, some of you could have Leo in your chart. It doesn't have to be the case. Um, but I feel like you are meant to persevere through this situation, whatever you find yourself in, Scorpio, with grace and fortitude, not with force and aggression. Um, but let's see. Ooh, there we go. Finally. <laughs> Eagle. Nice. I love this for my Scorpios. Um, you know, in some astrological theories, beliefs, some say the highest form of Scorpio is an eagle. But what it says is you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. Wow. Yeah. So the strength is just coming through so strongly for my Scorpios here. 
Um, you know, whether your strength is being tested, your strength is being waned. Scorpio, through a situation, a frustrating one I kind of pick up on for some of you, um, through a relationship that's frustrating you, Scorpio, it's a mountain to climb right now. And I understand it has been putting you through, through some challenges, but these challenges truly, I know it sounds cliche, are meant to evolve you to your highest form, to your highest level. And this feels very prominently spiritual to me. And when we reach that certain pinnacle of our spirituality, where we reach a certain height, um, you know, then the world starts to respond to our level of understanding, our level of what we know of ourselves, what we know to be true of ourselves, our desires, our hopes, our manifestations. And when we are so sure of ourselves in that foundation of what we've created through disappointment, through the chaos of things falling apart, we can't be shaken up again. And Scorpio, with some things that may be happening in your life that is causing you stress, causing you, you know, just frustrations and even triggers, truly, this is the universe's way of seeing and trying to show you, Scorpio, the tools you have now that maybe were not given to you by the people who raised you or by the circumstances you found yourself in early on in life. But Scorpio, you've earned the tools that you have now to persevere, to fly above, to rise above. And once you've mastered this, Scorpio, whatever this is in your life, it's general. You'll know if it's for you some sort of, you know, betrayal of a friendship or some sort of stagnancy in a career, um, some sort of frustration with a family member. Once you really understand the power you have to not let something outside of yourself bring you down, come back to a place of, you know, lower vibration, spirit is going to reward you in a big way, a big way. Um, whether that is the removal of blockages, whether that is, you know, the granting of the blessing you've been hoping for, praying for, whether that is to make you in this vibration that will be much higher than the collective, much higher than what people can understand, but you are on your own path to your own potential. Um, and just by being in that vibration, it's rewarding in itself. There will not be much to shake you. There will not be much to rattle you because you've been through it all. And here you are soaring above it. You didn't succumb to your vices. You didn't succumb to your temptations. You didn't succumb to the sad parts of ourselves that we all have. But you've used it to understand yourself better. You used it to understand what tools you've needed to overcome. And that's more powerful than anything. Um... You know, there's a lot of spiritual people out there, a lot of tarot readers that I'm not trying to shade right now, but I'm just saying that there's a lot of these readings that I see that are all about things that people are waiting for outside of ourselves to make it happen. We're waiting for that one big breakthrough. We're waiting for that change of our life forever. But with this and with most of the time, this is starting within you, Scorpio. And once that evolution, once that transformation happens within your very soul, then that's what will start to reflect outside of your world. As that famous saying, as above, so below, as within, so without, that I recently just posted on my community post about. Um, you're going to soar through this. You're going to overcome whatever it is you're going through right now that has been making you stressed, emotional, frustrated. You have the strength. You have the power. You're I almost am feeling like the need to say you're so much stronger than even what you know. Some of you are already aware, but it's even farther than that. Amazing. I even feel for a lot of you, like you are the first to overcome some sort of generational trauma or pattern. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not for everyone, but I'm getting this energy that for some of my Scorpios, like, you were told you were never going to evolve out of the situation you were in. Um, you weren't going to achieve much. Um, you know, just almost people around you that put you down and wanted to stifle you. But you're, you're far beyond that. They wanted to stifle you because they didn't believe that for themselves. They didn't believe they could achieve that for themselves. So how can they believe anyone else can have it? 
I, I just want someone to know it was all as hurtful and personal as it felt. It, it's really just a reflection of what they valued themselves to be, what people have told them before, whoever that is. It's not an excuse, but it, it's some, I hope it just gives someone clarity out there that it had really nothing to do with you. Oh, I'm just all of a sudden now feeling a little emotional. I can relate to this in many ways, Scorpio. Let's see what else is happening. What else is happening for Scorpio in April? Wunju. Nice. I love seeing this for you guys. And it says, joy, comfort, pleasure, fellowship, harmony, prosperity, ecstasy, glory, spiritual reward, but also the possibility of going over the top. Yeah, so I mean, and except for the last, you know, sentence that kind of wrapped that up, I feel, Scorpio, this is what you're moving into by taking the higher road, by sticking true to who you are, what you have learned, what you have grown. And how that is really going to push you and propel you towards the people, the situations, the environment that is going to help you thrive, that is going to help you, you know, glow and expand. Again, like if some of you are dealing with difficult relationships or just, you know, got out of a tough relationship, a uh, friendship, like it will be replaced. And I feel that the purpose of them showing you their true colors now was so you can move forward without that extra baggage. I almost feel like, yeah, that relationship of someone that's in your psych or that's still weighing heavily in your heart with someone that put you down or someone that was just shady. Um, and it was really just the one thing that was not almost as if I'm seeing like this balloon that's being tied down by an anchor. And it was the one thing that was stopping you from rising above, from moving on. And maybe that's just, even if you don't talk to this person anymore, that energy is still somewhat carried within your heart, Scorpio. And it's not meant to haunt you anymore. It's not meant to cage you anymore. And by understanding that and even forgiving those who hurt you, forgiving the situation you found yourself in that wasn't fair. Um, you know, again, forgiveness is tricky. It's never meant to excuse. No, it's meant for your liberation. It's meant for you to not have that wound and that pain carried within you for far too long than it needs to be. Um, I feel... Vir uh, ooh, almost called you Virgo. Some of you got Virgo in your chart, or this is a Virgo you're dealing with, perhaps. It. This is meant to be said and done. And so now, like, I feel a lot of you have already come to some sort of conclusion or are starting to realize the truth of the experiences you went through that were so challenging, that were so painful, how much it really has built you up. And what really stood out to me is spiritual reward. The blessing that wants to come in and maybe that blessing, although it could be something outside of ourselves, for most of us, it's just the awakening and the awareness that we have of what our value is, the power we carry. Because again, like once you're certain with that, you'll use that forever in every circumstance, in every situation, in every relationship in your life. And the letter P is standing out to me very strongly. Um, first, middle, last initial. Someone could have two P's in their name. P is in Patrick. P is in Patricia. Um, wow, this is very spiritual, Scorpio. This is very, um, once you really have solved this, it's going to show in your outside world. But what you're going through in April now is to just heal within, expand within. And then you'll start to see the blessings just pour through through what you put out there, through your intentions, through what it is you want for yourself and just not stopping till you get it, through understanding of co-creation with spirit, manifestation with spirit, 
and knowing that what is meant for you will not be withheld. What else is happening for Scorpio in April? Ascension flames, yes. You guys are ascending. Whatever happened, whatever triggered this ascension, the shocking revelation, the pain, the heartbreak, truly, I know it's not easy to hear at times, but truly, truly, it was the catalyst for you empowering yourself, for an awakening, for your spiritual gifts to open, for a better understanding of yourself and what you're not going to put yourself through again or what you're not going to believe of what others tell you again if it doesn't resonate with your heart, it doesn't resonate with your soul. And it says here, merge with light, ignite keys and codes. Yeah, and some of you, like, whatever situation is challenging you is opening light codes within your the blueprint of your soul. Um, I almost feel like for some of you guys, you have, like, ancient lineage. Um, you know, if you were to look down the line of your ancestors, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys had healers, um, witches, um, priests, priestesses. People who were strong in their community that uplifted them and healed them. And whether they identified as those labels or not, just people who had a strong impact energetically, spiritually, through what they shared their gifts with the world. And I feel that's what's kind of igniting in you, Scorpio. Now that you know yourself, now that you know your strengths, your weaknesses, how you can use that to move ahead, to just keep going. Yeah, I mean, this is going to change a lot of how you see your life. It's going to entirely change your life. And again, that starts in what we believe of ourselves, what we believe we can achieve. And with that intention, that's already manifesting. Because when you start to act, when you start to take plans, when you start to move with those plans, when you have that seed of enlightenment that is, I will get there. I believe in myself, I will achieve it, then your actions will back it up 100%. And so a lot of you are just going through this awakening. Amazing. Let's see what the tarot has to say. And some of you may see orbs, or starting to see orbs, or like you've been taking pictures, and the light has been, you know, creating an orb within it, green, blue, I feel that um, for some of you, those are your spirit guides. Those are the angels. Those are the ones that are trying to make its presence known to you, Scorpio. Um, and maybe some of you can see people's aura colors as well and have that gift. And I even get for someone out there, like very recently you started to discover your spiritual side and you're still probably very new at this. If it's not for you, just hang with me for a second. Um... And you're just like now going through that first awakening where you're just looking up the reasons why you see those numbers, looking up why, you know, you kind of are starting to see the world in such a different light than you ever had before and why it had to come through such a tower moment to get you to open up and realize this. Like some of you, I believe, are doing so much research into soulmates, into like spiritual awakenings. And just to say this, I am not a doctor by any means. And always, if you're not feeling well, go check with a health professional. But some of you may be experiencing fatigue, headaches, um, you know, just feeling kind of down physically. And that's a big sign usually of ascension and ascension symptoms. And I would look those up as well and see if that resonates with you. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot. I'm hearing the song Lights by Ellie Goulding. It's an amazing song. Um, I feel I really relate to it when I think about, you know, my anxiety when I struggled with like slight depression in the past, but of how like the light within that even though it has to shine in some dark areas of yourself always carries through. I feel like a lot of you, will, if you look up that song, you will relate to the lyrics very strongly right now. There we go. Four of Cups, yeah. 
cancer energy here. You could have cancer in your chart. does not have to be the case. Disappointment, dissatisfaction, something that didn't work out well, something that you are still kind of upset with. Again, the triggers that are making you kind of withdraw, kind of making you retreat, kind of almost even for some just making emotionally react or someone's trying to or a situation is trying to point you to that. I feel like, again, if you guys are going through a situation like that, um, what we traditionally see in the Rider Waite Tarot, Smith Tarot, excuse me, um, is that like there's someone who's looking kind of grumpy, looking at the three of cups that spilled over, um, but there's a cup behind them. And like spirit is trying to say, Scorpio, like you may not see it right now, but I promise there's a reason this is happening. I promise that I'm trying to guide you to look at this outside of the disappointments, outside of what you feel like you failed at or has failed you. There's a reason to it. And I'm trying to show you that way so you can bring yourself out of this, you know, energy of disappointment, dissatisfaction, and you don't have to stay there. You don't have to stay there. Um, you know, you don't have to stay in a situation or in a relationship of someone that just repeatedly disappoints you. I'm trying to show you another way. I'm trying to get you out of that. Maybe even for some of you soar above that. Tell me more. The Hierophant. Wow. Yep. Taurus energy, Capricorn energy for me as a reader, you are meant to ascend above this. Um, you know, and again, like I feel a lot of you may have felt like it's hard to relate to other people. Um, you know, you felt like for some of you, not all, but it's like you've never found people that truly resonated with your soul or felt like truly understood you. Truly, Scorpio, your soul, when it came incarnated on this plane in this lifetime, is something that is far above and beyond what most people can resonate with. You've been through so many schools of life. You've been through so many past lives that, you know, you have imprinted within you certain light codes, certain designs that are out of this world, quite honestly. Um, and... I feel, Scorpio, instead of kind of sticking to the sadness of feeling like people don't understand you, um, I, and I understand it too, I'm not judging you for it at all, but instead of being so focused on, you know, the people that can't relate to you, the things that haven't manifested because you feel there's no one to understand you or to get where you're coming from, to get what you're saying, like, this card here is really telling me that you're meant to just move on and above from it all. To not stay, again, grounded or attached to people or situations, jobs that make you feel less than what you truly are, which is a unique, gifted, amazing energy and soul that really does when you're around the right people, when you're in the right vibration and the right mood, really uplifts so many. You are a teacher. You are an old soul. You carry so much wisdom within you. And although that may have been shunned, and if it comes from truth and if it comes from good intention and people still made you feel crappy about expressing your truth or expressing your wisdom, um, what I want to say about that, Scorpio, is that they weren't ready to hear it. They weren't ready to hear the truth. They weren't ready to hear, you know, what you had to say because it resonated so deeply. It hit a part of their soul and a part of their ego. They weren't ready to confront and heal. And I feel that those who, you know, maybe you're going through this now who are just trying to make you feel crazy or make you feel wrong, make you feel unjustified for being who you are, saying what you want to say and expressing your truth fully of how you felt about situations, how you felt about the relationship, how you felt about whatever, right? Spirit is saying they're not meant to anchor you down in this at all. They, the situation, the job, you're meant to, again, ascend above it. And that's why these triggers, that's why these challenges are happening now is so you can realize that you know there's a better way. There's a more uplifting way and that you can evolve out of this and be happy with it. Be happy and at peace with who you are at its very essence. 
even if other people don't appreciate it, even if other people judge it, it, it truly doesn't matter, Scorpio. And I know it's easier said than done, but I think a lot of you are realizing that the people who have disappointed you in that way or situations have truly were never meant for you. May have had karma from past lives, may have had some debt you had to pay out, but other than that, and this is starting to ascend right from the four to the five. Progression, ascension. Wow, into the four, five, six. You guys could be seeing like ascending numbers quite frequently, but the six of wands here, Leo energy, I knew I was feeling that. Um, yeah, I feel for a, different things for some of you. For Like, you don't know how in the spiritual world so many are proud of you particularly ancestors, but I also feel your angels, your spirit guides who have been helping you through this journey, who have been helping you, you know, master, um, ascend, uplift yourself. They want to reward you, Scorpio. They want to give you that recognition. And I promise once you give that within yourself, that recognition within yourself, you're going to start to see the people who will give you that pat on the back, who will, you know, say, Scorpio, wow, everything you do has been so impactful to me. Um, you are such a rare gift. You truly are. And to be celebrated for that, maybe find yourself around in a community that will celebrate you for it and stay away from those who would take you down for it. Um, but I, I just really want to say that although it may be rough right now, your spirit guides are so proud of you. So proud of you for achieving what you have. And a lot of you too, this is the reward you're going to get once you kind of decide to take that higher road or even to just be graceful, ignore, um, say what you have to say, but not, you know, come out of character for it. Whatever it is that I'm feeling like needs to be said, expressed or done, like once all is said and done, you've passed the test, you're going to get recognition. And I don't feel it's just going to be temporary. I feel you're going to get that love and that support from spirit and from the 3D moving forward. Is everything going to be perfect? No. But with the tools you have, you'll be able to just overcome and succeed each and every time life throws you a curveball. Bottom of the deck, justice. Love this. Justice. Libra energy. I, yeah, like literally, I'm starting to get chills. Um, Scorpio, if there had to be some sort of ending or some sort of person that you had to see their true colors of, that was karmic debt to be paid. And it has been paid. It has been done. Um, and others of you too, like with the challenges again, I know some people don't like to hear it, but it really was a part of your contract. It really was a part of your plan to overcome these things. I mean, people who don't go through tough things in life, people who don't go through difficult circumstances, um, you know, don't have as much to climb and as much to achieve and as much to overcome. You did. And not only have you done it, not only have you succeeded, not only have you mastered, but you've provided your own sense of justice where maybe you didn't hear that apology, you didn't hear that closure, from the people you really wanted to hear it from, but you gave it to yourself. And you're in balance now. And this is part of the reward that spirit wants to give to you. Spirit will now do what it can to bring balance back into your life, to bring that harmony back into your life that we saw with Wunju, right? Justice will be yours, Scorpio. Spiritually, financially, relationship-wise, justice will be yours and the, the scales will balance out. The universe owes that to you. They're making it known now. And I feel for some of you, like if there is a some sort of battle you're going through, particularly legal, it will end up in your favor. I just want to put that out there as well for someone who may be worried or stressed about it. Wow. All right, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and pull one more card from this blessing deck. And it's such a beautiful deck. I do want to read the excerpt from the book because it's so beautifully written. I just want to see your blessing for the April. Anything that will give you affirmation, confidence, inspiration. 
I'm just hearing triumph. You will triumph. Anything else that Scorpio needs to hear? There we go. Yeah, amazing. 27 is coming out twice for you. So some of your birthdays could be October 27th. Um, or you're just seeing 27 is a significant number to you guys in some way. But it says a blessing on a resolution. Mm -hmm. And see how she's like carrying that dagger there? Like wanting to use it, wanting to strike back at those and people and situations that hurt them. Like hold it, Scorpio. I know it's hard. I know, you know, there's so much that's arising within you, but it, you will find a better resolution than to dip yourself back into lower vibrations, back into, you know, someone else's bad, crappy behavior. It's not worth to get even if it's taking you out of your element of who you are, out of your integrity. I'm just throwing that out there. Let's go ahead and read the excerpt from the book. Do you apologize if you hear my dog barking? <laughs> um, okay, so. A blessing to bring respectful resolution to a troubling condition, situation, or set of circumstances. It is a sad truth of the nature of humans that instead of cooperating, we sometimes compete, believing that unless we can have as much as possible, we may walk away from a dispute or negotiation with less than we feel we deserve. In this circumstance, sometimes the unfortunate aspects of humanity are most highlighted, our greed, our inability to come together, and truthfully speak our needs, and there can be manipulation. Within these circumstances, let us bring a blessing and ask for a higher power's will to take this circumstance and change it for the better. May there be blessing on all concerned within this troubling time, this conundrum that has kept you awake and had you fearful. May all those involved see the beauty in a swift and easy solution, which presents itself simply and in perfect timing. May the quarrels and the disputes become history and be learned from, so that the errors of judgment are, not, are never repeated. May all involved become their best self, devoting to finding a way through their, the puzzled pieces of peaceful resolution of a grievance. May any ill feeling be softly replaced with quiet optimism and a willingness to be open, honest, and understanding of all parties' true needs. May there be no trickery, no more hiding, no more falsehoods, no more rancor, no more fear. Let all those involved come to respectful meeting and truthfully find a fruitful way to restore dignity to all. May your particular needs be more than met. May your expectation be unclouded and may greed fall away from any who have sought to take advantage of these troubles. May none profit from the separations that have taken place, but may what is, but may what is decided be fair and just and recognize all that you have contributed for so long. May there be a blessing on every conversation, on every meeting, and finally, when you walk from the table and all is divided and terms are agreed upon, may all brooding subterranean Resentments be rooted out and purified, never to rise again. Let you be satisfied and make the most of this resolution and go forward, freed from any burdens and uplifted and supported by what you have rightfully and honorably gained. Blessed be. Yeah, Scorpio, you may be going through it now. You may be just feeling like the aftermath of what has happened now, but this is all going to work in your favor. When you act in your integrity, you do what is right you know, maybe other people don't play by that fair game. Maybe they benefit slightly. They won one battle, but they do not win the war. And if you feel like you kind of gotten, someone's gotten the upper hand, um, justice will prevail. Whether it's within the next few weeks or overall, like you will get your due. You will have what is right and you will persevere. And for all of that, spirit is congratulating you for doing what is right, even when it was hard to do so. That is showing character. That is showing spirit you're ready to continue your life's purpose, to continue to evolve and to receive all that is meant for you out of the goodwill and good soul that you have, Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me here for this reading. I really hope that this has resonated with you in some way, has given you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to what's going on for you in April. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Scorpio, very much. 
and I'll see you next time. Take care, Scorpio.